I'll show you how to set up a click track in Pro Tools and why you might need it. Okay, here I am in Pro Tools. I've got a couple of tracks. I've got a music track up here at the top and I've got another audio track where I can throw down some vocals or something like that. So click tracks, what are they? Why are they important? Well, they kind of tell you what tempo you're working in and they help you to really listen to where the beats are and it's great for beat matching and beat mixing things, creating mixes and matches of different jingles or different music tracks. And I'll show you how to set it up. Uh, so first of all, we go into uh, the track menu and we look for, the opportunity to create a click track right here at the bottom boom it's done there's my click track and we can also send it to our output so we can hear it uh, let's just solo it for the moment so we'll actually just mute out the uh, the music that's playing And that is a 120 BPM uh, click track. So it's like every 500 milliseconds, uh, we've got a beat. Do, 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 do. That's uh, 500 milliseconds uh, per beat there on the click track for 120 beats per minute. Uh, now I can go into the click to plug in here and I can change how it sounds. So I can do all kinds of cool stuff. So it's show me how it works. Now I can move this along a bit more. And that just makes the first beat louder. Or I can take it off. I wouldn't want to do that. I'd probably want to make the first beat louder. And I can also make the first beat longer as well if I want by selecting, say, a different uh, kind of uh, bell or something. So I could go for the, the tick. Just something that really fits my preference. The click to plugin really is good. We can go for classic. We can go for hollow puck. And obviously we'd probably want to match what we've got here. So we'll go for something else. And we can really mix it up. We can even put bells in, electric bell. So this is the idea of a click track. Now obviously it works perfectly if I've got my master music track uh, conform conformed or fitting to the BPM. Now at the moment I've got 120 BPM set up here, but I know this music track is 126. So go to the plus icon next to the tempo and I just change the BPM of this track to 126 and click OK. Now we'll see the beats match, but I just need to use my handy little tool here, the grabber tool, and move this along just so that it's going to fit perfectly. And uh, if I actually hold down the control or command button, you can really dial that right in to where it should be. And now if I unmute the music, the clicker should work. And of course we need to output the music to the mix bus to hear it. And if I turn the music volume down a little bit, without moving it in time, just uh, grab that and turn it down. We'll really hear the click track working. And then if I want to do any kind of mixing or matching in of other songs, I've got a click track that I can quickly reference to make sure I'm falling on time and everything is sounding brilliant and on the beat. Just one last thing as well. Obviously, we're working in bars and beats up here, but I can select the down arrow here and change to decimal time. If I want to see how long my mix lasts, it's very easy to make that swap right up there uh, in the wonderful transport controls inside Pro Tools. So that's what a click track is and why you'd use it but I think you're here to learn more and you're clearly enjoying it if you've watched to the end so go and watch my video on how to set up a de and why you'd want to to reduce those harsh sibilant sounds it's on your screen now